everybody, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri. I am a second year dental student at Burkett University School of Dentistry. I'm in my summer semester right now and I figured it would be a fun week to just take you along. This is the first week that we actually have our first written exam in oral medicine, so lots of studying. Today is Monday. I have preservation and restoration of tooth structure all day, as I do every single Monday. And today we actually have a quiz and two practicals in this class. So it'll be a tough day. Um, we also have a lecture and a project to work on. So lots of things to keep me busy today. I'm actually heading into the school early today. It's about 6.10 right now. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I have enough time to actually work on my project. That project is due in a few weeks. I want to make sure that I have enough time to actually work on it, especially with the practical the quiz and the lecture today. Just want like that extra time and he's setting out our time downs about an hour before class. So I figured if I get there a little early, I'll have enough time to practice and kind of get a head start on at least maybe one of like the props or restorations that are part of my project. So I'm heading over to class and I'm excited to take you along my week. almost five o'clock now it is a lot later um so this morning our practical actually got canceled um we were supposed to have two practicals it was supposed to be a class two prep and then a class two restoration and both of them got canceled i'm guessing well he kind of told us that it's because we had two practicals last week they were both um class one and a class five prep and i think a lot of people really struggled on those and there were a lot of deficits on that practical so he decided to push back today's practical to about two or three weeks from now um, after our July break and so that way we have a little more time to keep practicing through this next project and the project after that just like keep practicing making sure we know exactly what to do when it comes time to actually take that practical so it was kind of nice I had a lot more time to work on my project I got all of the preps done for my project so then starting next week I can do all of the composite restorations which is what we learned about today in lecture our lecture went kind of long um, and so I actually um, had a meeting right after a lecture, which was with my counterpart for District 7 leadership. I have the position of leadership development chair and one of the other girls on District 7 board also has that position. So we work together and we're actually planning a lot of programming for our district retreat coming up. So that was kind of fun. We met with the leader of District 7 and we kind of went through what we were thinking for programming and he kind of give us some advice or things to change and kind of some guidance on that. So hopefully I'll get time to work on that tonight, but that's about it. I'm going to go home, basically just kind of study all night because as I said, I do have an oral medicine exam on Wednesday. So I have a lot of studying to do for that. And then hopefully I can work on some district seven stuff as well. happy Tuesday today I am having a very slow start to the morning which is very nice um, I actually don't have a rotation this morning so I have to go in at I think one o'clock for oral medicine lecture so it's kind of nice I can kind of just take my time this morning and relax be at home it also gives me some extra time to study for tomorrow's exam so this morning I've basically just spent some time I ate some breakfast journaled a little bit and I filled out my planner and then now I'm going to 
just sit down and study for a bit for old medicine and hopefully after class today i'll get a little more time to study and kind of just again relax hopefully like find some time to just take a walk and spend some time outside spend some time with my family and so that'll basically be the plan for today not have too much going on not super exciting but a lot of studying to do okay also please do not mind that i'm wearing a christmas shirt in the middle of summer but i wanted to ask you guys um if you guys actually have classes over the summer if you're a dental student or if you're a pre-dent student do you have classes over the summer are you taking any classes right now i know a lot of dental schools actually will give like d1s the summer off and then after that you have summer breaks or sometimes they just like don't they everyone has summer breaks which is seems so like crazy to me because at marquette school of dental Mystery, like everybody has school during the summer no matter what year you are and so it just seems so far away but I'm interested to hear what other dental schools do and what your specific dental school does so if you want to share that below I would love to hear <laughs> Wow, what a day it's been. It has been a very long day. So I don't even know if I, I don't think I've even updated you guys since yesterday afternoon, but I went home yesterday, studied my whole heart out, literally all day i studied all evening i studied i even told my parents i felt really bad but usually you know like we all eat dinner together and so i told my mom i was like hey like i'm just gonna come down eat my dinner and i'm not gonna like sit and chat i'm just gonna go upstairs and study again because i had a lot of studying to do and i wanted to make sure that i felt confident especially especially with this being one of the first exams that we had especially over the summer i wanted to make sure that i did well and so this morning i also came to school super early it was like 6 a.m studied my whole heart out took the exam the exam went okay honestly i think that this professor is very accommodating so there were a few questions that were kind of just like a little weird like the wording was weird or um like there was also one question that was like which of the following is not true and there were like three answers that were not true and one that was true so i'm assuming that he like just made a mix up with the questions so we all usually in this type of situation we actually will email our class liaison so every year we have class elections or class e-board elections and so we select one person to be our liaison which is kind of that middleman between us as a class and all of our professors so anything that we want to communicate to our prof professors we can obviously email them individually but sometimes it's issues like test questions or sometimes the professor doesn't want to get like 10 million emails so they'll have the liaison kind of compile all of the comments and concerns and then send one email to the professor so so the liaison after the exam just sent out a message saying hey if there are like any issues with the exam that you want to bring up just email me by this time and so she's going to communicate with the professor so hopefully something will come out of that um he's very very accommodating so i feel like he'll probably understand everything from our perspective but after the exam i had a few hours to chill and then today i actually had a rotation of our group profi assist so in the summer of d1 year everyone at marquette has at least one profi this summer is only one but usually it's more than that we're doing some remodeling so there's not as much space in the clinics for all of us to be there but every d1 is going to have one profi and then how it basically works is that there are 10 people that are in my clinic group and so five of them had their profi today and the other five of us assisted those students and then come august i have my profi Fee, and then that same student will be able to assist me. So I was the assistant today and the person that I assisted did really, really well. He was very prepared. Um, we had a very nice patient. She was very like patient with us as well because obviously this is our first time, even though she doesn't know that, but she was very patient with us, which was very, very nice. And so I had a lot of fun assisting. I kind of helped as an assistant in a profi, you essentially just help putting in like probing depths 
and putting in all of the values of period charting. You help with notes, note taking, you help with like the setup and tear down of the operatory, things like that. So it was really nice and I think my classmate was very appreciative of me. So hopefully come August when I'm doing my profi, he'll be able to help me as well and we'll kind of be able to like tag team it together. So it was really fun. It was definitely a long day because it's already like five o'clock when I'm leaving school. So definitely a long day, but very fun. And it was nice to be back in the clinic, kind of getting into the groove of things again and kind of reminding myself of some of the things that I kind of forgot. So, so yeah, I really enjoyed and today was like a really great day. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys is like, I think something that I'm realizing, especially being in the clinic a little more often and getting my own profi patients, stuff like that. I'm realizing that honestly, like the hardest part of transitioning to clinic is making sure that you have every individual step in the computer. Like the computer is the hardest part, especially navigating like even the period chart, knowing what order it goes in, knowing how to bring up all of the different forms that you have to fill out and making sure that you have every single form in there and knowing the ins and outs of how like like, you know, in Axiom, if you bring up a form, but you don't type anything in it, it disappears. And so you need to make sure if you're bringing up a ton of forms to remind yourself of a checklist, you need to make sure that you type at least something in it so it stays. Little tips and tricks like that are the things that are really going to mess me up, I know, in clinic. So if you're a current dental student, definitely let me know if you have any Axiom tricks. I know that I'll also just come with time and with practice. But if you have any miraculous tips to share with me, I would definitely appreciate any axiom tips but yeah so i think the plan for the rest of the day is literally just gonna be to go home i have some laundry to fold and just like spend time with my family i don't have much going on tomorrow as i kind of said i have my grand rounds tomorrow and then digital dentistry so it'll be a pretty quick um rest of the week and so basically tonight i'm hoping that i can spend some time outside either go for a walk or maybe play some pickleball we'll see so it'll hopefully be a very chill evening that we can kind of just like relax and decompress. Okay, lots of car talks in this video. It's probably just the best spot for me to just sit down and decompress and talk to you guys after class. But I had digital dentistry this morning. We basically did a crown of eight, nine, and 10. So it was a little harder because we've never actually done three teeth. We've usually only done one and two, but I think over time we kind of just build upon our knowledge. And so that was really fun. I really, even though that class can be sometimes pretty frustrating, especially just with the technology of it all, I do enjoy it. Like, I feel like it's kind of just like a big art project where you get to just go in and like find, make sure your contacts are in the right place and that the anatomy is good. So, and it's a little obviously easier than taking your waxing instruments and doing it in real life. So it's kind of fun to me, even though it is frustrating because sometimes the technology doesn't exactly work. And sometimes I know today it like gave me a notification. It was like, you're, blue triangles are noisy. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna start over, so. And so now I am going to head home. I basically am on summer break now or on July break now. So we have a week off next week. And so today I do have summer rounds, which I've told you is basically this three hour long presentation that we are having from some guest speakers. So we have to log on online and just have it on Teams. But thankfully we don't have to have like our camera on. So I'm gonna sit down and watch that today, this afternoon, um, log on and probably like eat lunch and stuff while I'm watching it as well. So hopefully that'll be pretty interesting. And then later tonight, we actually have our District 7 meeting tonight and I am meeting with my counterpart for leadership development. We're gonna chat after the district meeting as well, just to make sure we have everything set up for our leadership retreat, which is coming up next weekend already, which is crazy. I'm actually, unfortunately, not able to go 
to the retreat, which is kind of sad because I am planning like a presentation with my leadership development team, but hopefully they'll be able to facilitate the whole thing and it'll go smoothly without me there. But I'm kind of bummed out because I won't get to meet all of the other District 7 members, but that's okay. And then tomorrow, as I said, we're like kind of on break because tomorrow I only have one class usually on Fridays and it is asynchronous tomorrow. So I can watch it whenever, which hopefully I can just get it done today so that I can kind of just like relax tomorrow, spend some time at the pool, uh, maybe play a little more pickleball, we'll see. So that'll basically be the plan for the rest of the week. so I am officially on break. I finished rounds this afternoon. We had two presenters that kind of talked a little more about domestic violence and how to deal with situations like that when you see it in your office and how you can help as a healthcare professional and as a dentist. So it was really interesting to hear about. And after that, I've kind of just been relaxing. I just came outside to start a little bit of reading. I've actually been out of touch. If you've been watching my videos for a a while you know that I read a lot and I've kind of been out of touch because I started reading the people we meet on vacation which I've heard from so many people is such a good book and for some reason I just could not get into it I had been trying to finish it for the past I think like three or four weeks and I just could not get through it and it, unfortunately it kind of just like lost my touch of like and like motivation to read because usually I always want to read and that's like my escape and when I don't have like a good book to read I just don't really like feel that motivation like oh my gosh I really want to read or like I really want to know how this ends and I really just couldn't get through it unfortunately which sucks because it's never really happened to me where so many people say it's a really good book and I didn't really like it so I actually stopped reading that book I had like 80 pages left and I just couldn't really get through it so I stopped reading that book and to get me kind of back into it I love all of the Colleen Hoover books she's one of my favorite authors so I have her new book which I ordered it I literally pre-ordered it before it even came out and it came out in January and I still have not read it and so hopefully this will kind of get me back into that groove of reading um, I'm only like 20 pages in as you can see right now so hopefully this will kind of get me back in the groove of things but I'm gonna sit outside here and read for a bit and then as I said at 6 30 I have my district 7 meeting and after that I am meeting with my leadership development team so I'm really excited. It'll be a good, just like relaxing evening. I feel like this week has been so long. I feel like usually I feel by the time that we get to Friday, it feels really short and then it flew by. But I feel like because the beginning of this week was very like study heavy and then the second half of this week has been very chill and relaxing. I feel like Monday seems like a million years ago, but this morning I had a very relaxing morning. I went for a walk. I took my dog for a walk. We have a little like walking trail around our neighborhood. So I took him around there and then I took some time and cleaned my bathroom. And then I'm hoping to take some photos for an exciting thing I have for Instagram. So definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram because I have a very exciting thing coming up um, that you guys definitely will want to be involved with. So I think I have to take some photos. I might ask my sister to take the photos for me, which is why I wash my my hair so that I can at least like straighten it and make it look cute for these photos so the rest of the day is just gonna be really chill I am probably gonna go maybe I'll like go sit out by the pool or sit outside and read I was reading reminders of him yesterday I was telling you that I was in such a rut of reading because I cannot get into a book and finally I have gotten into reminders of him I got through like 100 pages yesterday so it is really good so far I knew that Colleen Hoover would do it for me because I, she is like one of my absolute favorite authors and usually her books are like that's kind of like what got me 
into reading in the first place. I read um, Regretting You. That was like the first book that I read probably since like elementary or middle school and I read that book and that really got me into reading and got me back into it and so I knew a Colleen Hoover book would do it for me so I'm very excited probably hopefully get some reading done today and just like relax and have a chill day. Okay, so I just got finished getting ready. As I said, I wanted to like make sure I look nice. My hair is straightened, even though it's back in a ponytail. Um, and I'm just waiting really quick. I like painted my nails a very like color that is exactly the same as my nail color, but um, I painted my nails super quick. So I'm just like waiting for it to dry completely and I change and I asked my sister to take a photo for me. I think I'm actually going to post it today. So I figured I would take a second and just tell you guys about it. So I'm partnering with Gobi as kind of like a thank you because you guys have given me so much support in just following along my dental school journey all the way from like right when I got into dental school until finishing my first year and hopefully you'll continue to support me and and just to say thank you to all of you guys for just supporting me throughout this journey and for continuing to watch all of my pre-dental videos i kind of wanted to give back to you guys by giving away a gobi toothbrush so i'm so excited to say that gobi is actually helping me with this giveaway so we're going to be giving away one toothbrush and they actually said that i could pick the color at first and i was like no i want the winner to pick the color so you guys get to win a Gobi toothbrush of your choice of color, which is really, really exciting. I love my Gobi toothbrush. I literally have it right here, um, but I absolutely love mine. Mine is pink, um, and so I'm really excited. I'm going to take a few photos with my toothbrush, post them for the giveaway. I think it will be open for a week or a week and a half. I haven't exactly decided yet, but make sure to go check out my Instagram if you are interested in entering this giveaway i'm really excited for it and of course thank you guys so much for just supporting me along this journey that's why i wanted to do a giveaway this summer so i'm really excited and of course also if you want to get a gobi toothbrush of your own if you don't happen to win that gobi toothbrush you can use the code doing dental school to get a little percentage off of your gobi toothbrush so it's really exciting i am very very thankful also to gobi for helping me out with this giveaway so i'm very excited and definitely go and check out my instagram